of SpiritWorks Cinema, where we watch all the movies. Today is another installment in our Jean-Claude Van Damme series. You're probably looking at this movie and wondering what the hell it is. Um, it's a Russian movie, Rzhevsky vs. Napoleon. Uh, <laughs> uh, the girl here, Svetlana, she's the same girl that plays Viper in the new Wolverine movie. Otherwise, unless you're pretty familiar with Russian film or TV, you're not going to know anybody else in the movie. Jean-Claude Van Damme is actually in this movie. And that's, it, it's part of my Jean-Claude Van Damme series, because that's the only reason I own this. I, yeah, I, I wouldn't own it otherwise. Um, we'll talk about the movie a little bit, and we'll talk about Jean-Claude's part. Uh, this is a, it's directed by Marius Bacchinus. Uh, he's done a, a lot of the, uh, soft rom-coms, Russian romantic comedies, and, and, and uh, they're, they're similar to ours. In that, but they're almost a little fluffier. I mean, some are cute, but they're kind of, uh, again, not very interesting. And this is a comedy. Um, yeah, fairly, fairly big budget, released in 3D. It's about Napoleon's invasion in 1812, and they want to stop him. And in order to stop him, they decide they need to find a superwoman, because in this, Napoleon is notorious for his lust for women. Um, so it's got a little, like, Benny Hill-esque sex comedy stuff going on. And they decide that the main guy, Rzhevsky, he's like super pimp daddy with the ladies. You know, they all want him, because he's got the power wood or something going on there. And they decide the best way to get Napoleon's information is to dress Ruzhevsky up in drag and have him marry Napoleon. It's it's completely ridiculous, but again, you're getting it's a setup to get all the in drag jokes and that kind of stuff. You know, is it funny? It's not bad. I mean, yeah, I laughed. I snickered a few times. They totally, you know, Napoleon's running around with a uh, with Gucci insignias on his hat and crap like that. They, the timelines are purposely kind of mushed. You know, they talk about things that don't make any sense, but they use a lot, they use all the costumes. And it was shot at the palace in Crimea. So you, you got, it looks cool. I mean, it looks period-esque. You can kind of get away with it. The, the CGI is kind of awful, which is always a, you know, I'd, just don't use the CGI, right? But, I mean, other than that, technically, it's, it's, it go. It flows pretty well. It's my main complaint is it still feels like vignettes, not really a full story. I mean, it's Napoleon is trying to have sex with Rzhevsky's character. He's like, "Oh, baby, baby, give it to me." He's like, "No, I'm doing marriage," and this just happens over and over and over. So it's a little repetitive in that. But Rzhevsky uh, falls in love with Svetlana's character um, for you know, and he so he has to pretend to be a man to be with her. And then eventually she's going undercover. She's dressed as a man. He's dressed as a woman. They finally figure out who each other are. They fall in love. And Rzhevsky realizes he's found his true love. Uh, you know, so, I mean, you kind of get it. It's it's very slapsticky, very lighthearted. Think like a, a PG-13E sex comedy. Now, they in the end... Of course, they end up being happy and stopping Napoleon from whatever his invasion. There's some cool jokes in there if you know if you know some things about the that period in that war. There's some things that are kind of funny on the sly, which I liked. Um, but in the end is kind of eh. And then they have like some weird dance number at the end that seems kind of tacked on, like they were gonna use it, but it was an outtake. But they decided to put it on the end of the movie anyway. No nudity, which is kind of a bummer, because there's a lot of really hot chicks in it. So, you know, as a comedy, it's okay. If you're looking for a soft type of comedy, I might recommend it. Now, Jean-Claude. Jean-Claude is in this movie. Rzhevsky is needs to... He's dressed up as a woman, and he wants to impress Svetlana's character. So, he needs to change into man's clothes, but he doesn't have any. So, he's running around this um, uh, spa, a day spa. And goes in this room, and Jean-Claude's in there. And he, he tells, hey, you know, uh, who are you? Why, why don't you give me your clothes right now? And Jean-Claude speaks, he speaks French for most of it. Um, you know, he, he's like, well, I'm Jean-Claude Van Damme. I'm on vacation in my spa. What? <laughs> and the guy just keeps telling, take off your pants. Take off your pants. They have a little, a little 
a little uh, mini build up to a fight where you know he's gearing off against him, gearing off against him, then it cuts to the door, we hear fighting noises, and then it cuts back, and Jean Claude's sitting on the couch dressed in drag, and he says, Why the fuck did I come to Russia? So I, it was that part was really funny, but again, we're talking 90 seconds tops. It's 90 seconds of Jean Claude. If you want to see it, you know, I would suggest downloading it and just watching the clip. Um, overall, I, I'm going to give the movie a, uh, a, a 6 out of 10. I did enjoy it. I laughed, but it's not. there's no rewatch value. Um, it, as far as the Blu-ray goes, I should note this is only available as far as I know in Russia, and the Blu-ray is Russian language only, no subtitles, so if you don't speak Russian, you really are not going to have an idea what's going on, because comedies are pretty hard to... to translate anyway. However, this disc sucks. Um, the transfer's okay, but you notice here it says 2D and 3D. When you put in the movie, it also says warning, watching 3D can hurt your eyes, just like all my other 3D movies do, but there's no 3D version on the damn disc. There's, it's not on there. I've looked all over for it. It comes with trailers for other movies, but no trailer for this movie, and nothing else. Not even, you don't even get um, Russian language for the hearing impaired subtitles, you know, so it's a, you know, it's a shit DVD. You're getting the movie and that's it. Um, I thought it'd be kind of cool to give a review of this because I know I've, some people asked on, uh, like the IMDb filmography, like, what the hell was that movie? So John claude really is in this movie. Um, I've got it for completion's sake. I would not recommend buying this movie at all. And, and if you happen to speak Russian, sure, go check it out. But if you don't, it, it's not worth it for Jean-Claude's part. But it's still cool to see him. It was funny. And, you know, that, that's all there is to it. So, I hope you enjoyed the review. Be sure to like it, share it, and we'll see you here next time at Movie Mayhem.